That's a redwood. That's albino. You learn a lot from this tree. Because it doesn't have a photosynthesis, it needs to get its nutrients from its cousin right behind it, the big, tall redwood. And it also is in this little gully, which you can't see, but I'll show you after I play mu some music. Uh, it's in the gully, so it probably gets a little more moisture from the ground as well. But yeah, because it's albino, it doesn't have chlorophyll, and it would be dead if not for its cousins. So. The albino redwood. The pink wood? No. The albino redwood. Not a parasite, but a valued member of the redwood community, even though it can't gather its own solar nutrients. Ooh.
I'll get a little closer. It's, it's real and it's actually recently uh, sprouting. These are a little baby ones still. Uh, it's got the signature fern friends next to them and the clover. Hmm. That's what it looks like when the sun's on. Oh, on the other side. That's its best cousin. Uh, can I like use your photosynthesizing? Because I'm not really able to. This one's part of the big one as you can see the green ones and then <laughs> they meet up there I'm not going to do too much going in there because I don't want to ruin anything because there are not very many of them I think I saw 20 something But, yeah, I was up there, and it's just right here. I mean, yeah, even the new stems are white. They all turn brown at the end, though. I guess, like, humans all bleed red. <clears throat> Redwoods all turn brown when they die. Even the albinos. <clears throat> but, yeah. This is a pretty special place for me. Hope you enjoyed it.